In this video I will be showing you how to use SE Ranking and going over all of SE Ranking's features. So SE Ranking is an all-in-one agency tailored SEO platform. So as you can see you can start a free trial with no credit card required. Here you can see some companies that use SE Ranking. Now let's first go over the plans and pricing to see which one may be the best for you. So they have three different plans, the Essential Plan, Pro Plan and the Business Plan. Going from 39 euros per month to 79 to 180 euros. Now right here you can see what is included in each of these plans. So you can also change the amount of keywords and this will change the price. So figure out which one may be the best for you and you can start a free trial with any of these plans. So I will start one with the pro plans since this is the most popular plan. Now let's click on start free trial. Now all you need to fill in to start your free trial is your first name, your last name, your business email, your phone number which is optional and your password. Now you can click away from these questions by clicking right here but I recommend filling these out. So which of these describes your business best? I will say digital agency, how big is your company, one, what is your role, owner, what are you most interested in specifically inside of SE ranking? So let's click competitive research, position tracking and keyword research. Now let's click on get started with SE ranking. Then after doing that you will come here in the dashboard. Now what you want to do first is to add in your website. So add your first website by clicking here on add website. Then enter the website URL, the search engines, the location and the keywords that you want to add manually. So I'll just add in this website right here. Then the search engine uh, Google is fine. Then I will do this. And now you can enter more keywords right here by typing in whatever you want. So I will keep it like this and then click on start tracking. Now here you can see your rankings for this specific website. So right here you can see what website you are looking at. And as you can see we are looking at the rankings and the detailed analytics. So here you can see the average position is 16 for all of the keywords. You can see how often you are in the top 10%. And then when you scroll down a bit, you can see all of the keywords that you added in. So here you can see the search volume on all of these, the content score. And as you can see, this still says updating on all of these because I have just added this in. This will take some time to monitor, but then it will show the search volume and content score right here. So you can also click on summary right here and then you can just see less detailed analytics but more summary. So for example the search visibility, the average position, the organic traffic, you need to connect Google Analytics to track this. So just click connect Google Analytics and then go ahead and connect your account if you want to do that. And then if you want to monitor more than one site you can go ahead and click right here. This is the site we have added in Then you can click on create project. Now first as you can see I need to verify my email to add another project. So I will do this right now. Okay so now I have confirmed my email address and now I can go ahead and create a new project and you can go through this again. So you can enter the URL, search engines, the country or location, the language and whatever you need and then you can add this project in as well. So then here you can see the projects. This is where we are right now. But you also have a few more things right here including competitive research. And here you can do some competitive research. So you can do research into your competitors. As you can see it says uncover your competitors most powerful SEO and PPC campaigns. So here you need to choose the domain. So I will add in the domain I just added in as well. Then you need to choose the search engine and the location. So I will do worldwide and Google is fine and then click on analyze. So now here you can see a bunch of analytics for the domain that you added in. You can see the domain trust which shows how likable this domain is to rank. You can see the page trust. You can see it's organic traffic. So this means it gets one and a half million clicks per month. You can see the keywords. So this is the total amount of keywords that this specific domain or website ranks for. So 2.1 million. You can see the total traffic cost, which is 1.8 million. Now here you can see if they run ads and how much. So the paid traffic is 633 clicks per month at a total traffic cost of 515 euros. And here you can see the amount of keywords that they are running ads on. Now here you can see the referring domains and the backlinks. Now when you scroll down a bit you can see some more details. So for example this specific website gets most of its traffic from the USA, then India, United Kingdom and you can also see how much they are getting from each specific country. 
Now here you can see the growth. So let's say you want to see the growth over the last 12 months. You can see right here, November it was 1.6 and a half million. And then for example in July it was 2.6 and a half million. So by doing this you can track how this website is doing. Let's go to all time. And you can also see when they started. So for example this one started in 2017. And then you can just see their graph right here. And then you can click on keywords. This is the amount of keywords they are ranking for. And then you can see the traffic cost. And you can also see the backlinks. Now this feature is very useful as well. Here you can see the organic keywords that drive the most traffic to this website. So this is the name of the website, so that makes sense. But for example, currency exchange near me is a very big search term for them. They have a search volume of 201,000 and they rank sixth. You can also see the cost per click right here. And you can see more keywords by clicking on view detailed report. And you can also see the improved ones, decreased ones, new ones, and the lost keywords. So when you scroll through this, you can see a bunch more analytics that you can go over. So you can also see their competitors, for example, WISE, Western Union, and more. You can also see how many keywords they have in common with their competitors. And you can also see their top pages in organic search. So these are the pages that get the most traffic from their website in organic search. So as you can see, this web page right here gets over 6% of their total traffic. So there you can go ahead and click on that specific page. And then it will also analyze this page for you. So you can see the traffic, the domain trails, the keywords, the total traffic cost, and you can see more from the keywords right here. And you can basically go over this all again. So now let's click on keyword research right here. So this is where you can actually go ahead and do your keyword research. So for example, let's do ATM near me. So then make sure this says what you want it to be. So for me, it's Google and the United States and then click on analyze. Now here you get a few details about this keyword. So you can see the difficulty score. So this one is 61 out of 100, which means not easy. You can also see the search volume, the search intent, the cost per click and the global volume. Now when you scroll down a bit, they will give you some similar keyword ideas. And here you can maybe find some keywords that are easier to rank for. So for example, how many Chase ATMs, see this one, how many Chase ATMs are near me? So this one has a 28 out of 100 score compared to the other one, which had 61. So the difficulty here is elementary. Now, as you can see, the search volume is much, much lower on this one. So you want to find one with decent search volume and a low score right here. So let's try another keyword. For example, marketing softwares. So this one is doable to rank for and it has a decent search volume of 540 per month. Now here on the keyword ideas, you can see similar keywords. And this one has a score of 29 and a search volume of 1.3k. So this one may be better. The difficulty score is elementary. Now as you can see, the search volume was very high here. And then after that, it was pretty low. So this is good because now the average says 1.3K, but it's actually much lower. So this may not be worth it. So then you can look at some more, for example, marketing automation. So this one is effortless to rank for. And as you can see recently, it has gained a lot of traction. So the keyword search volume is more than 20K per month. You can see this is effortless to score for. Also the cost per click is very high and the global volume is good. So this may then be a good keyword to try to rank for. If you want to check out a lot of keywords at once, you can also drop in a TXT or CSV file right here with all of your keywords, or you can type them out right here, then hit enter, enter, and then click analyze, and they will analyze all of the keywords right here. Let's click on content marketing, and then go to content editor. So this is where you can write articles and blogs. So let's click on new article. So here you need to add at least one keyword. I will add in the keyword that we just found, which was very effortless to rank for and had a lot of search volume. So let's put that in right here. Then for the country, let's do the United States of America and let's keep it like this. So now you can give the article a name. I'll just name it after the keyword. And for the group, I'll keep it like this. And you can also do additional settings. I will just keep it like this and click on create article. So now when you let it finish loading, you can see the competitors right here. So you can see the content score, domain trust, the page trust and more. So as you can see, these competitors don't have a lot of domain trust, which is good. Now you can also see the content parameters, terms to use, the links, questions, content structure, metadata and notes. So for example, let's look at the content structure. 
and then you can add the headings of your content. You can also add in some questions that you want to be included. You can include links, terms to use and more. So let's click on go to content editor. And now you can either paste a structure, start writing your article yourself or generate a draft with the AI writer. So I'll do the AI writer. Now you can choose a tone of voice. So pick one of these. I will keep it at professional and then click next topic of the article. So then here you have your article. So you can see this is in Dutch for me since I choose Dutch right here. And then you can copy this content and actually use this on your website. You can also edit it by just typing whatever you want, copying it again, and then you can just paste it into your blog and you can use this. So as you can see for me, it's really short and it doesn't really make sense because I only added the keyword for the title and the subheading. So just add in the keyword as the title or whatever title you want and choose your structures, so your subheadings, and then it will write a blog post or article for you. So they have a few more features that may be applicable for you. And to explore this, I will just go ahead and start your free trial and see what exactly you want to use. So that's how you can use SE ranking for keyword research, competitive research, projects, content marketing, content creation, and more. Now, if this SE ranking tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.